Nick, can you talk about your role as chair of the IEEE? Okay, so um, I, I always wanted to um, work with consultants, and uh, one day the, the position was open, so I took it, and basically what it is is, is working with consultants. And this is a non-paid volunteer position, right? That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, but I have about 110 consultants in Seattle, so I, I try to <clears throat> have talks uh, um, for those consultants, what they do. There's, there's sometimes there's small consultants, they need help on you know, getting their business going. Um, a lot of them are engineers, so they don't think like a business savvy. Um, I try to connect them with business folks to, to get, you know, what, what do you need to, to move forward? You know, wh where are you looking? So we kind of give them all kind of ideas. So I actually reach out to them and listen to what they want to hear. And then um, like my conferences, I, I reach out to them so I can promote them. So if, if you, if you don't, if nobody knows about you, I mean, then you, you don't have business. So you want to get that repeat business. I mean, that's important. I know a lot of the engineering companies here in Seattle, they, they get, you know, 90% repeat business and that's, that's good. So. And how long have you been the chair of the chair? I'm going on four years. Four now. years. And they told me they it's only for, supposed to be good for two years, but not, no, I, uh, I get nobody else. No one, wants to, no one wants to do it. So to me, I, I took it from my BD business development. So I think reaching out to people and, and, you know, working with them, they help me too. So um, it's a, um, it's a win-win for, uh, for the IEEE consultant network. And I just won an award for having the most <laughs> talk shows. Right. So, um, so they they, I didn't hear anything negative. People just like what I'm doing because, I mean, it's free. They're not paying me. Um, I'm connecting folks. And I think it's a win-win for the, uh, you know, for the, for the area. So, of course, you're doing it because, you know, you want to give back to the community and be of value. But what are you getting out of it? I mean, you have to, you, you're still getting something out of it, right? What do you get out of it? Well, I get the connections. So, I, you know, I, I got the conference next week in, in Vegas. So, I'm taking the microgrid consortium down there. And we're doing actually a you know um, presentation in the boardroom at the uh, in, in in Las Vegas, and while the uh, conference is going on. So um, basically, um, folks that are coming there, they're coming to see me too. So um, we, we're going to talk some about some jobs and some potential jobs. I mean, we got the Green Energy Corridor coming out, and <clears throat> the, the uh, DOE. We're working with the DOE, Department of Energy, on on getting these fueling stations every 30, 50 miles from here to the, to the um, Massachusetts uh, on the I-90. I but was, somebody just gave a talk last week and they have the induction highway where you don't even have to stop anymore. The, 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 the uh, roadway actually fuels the car I, along I, the way. I, I've heard of that, yeah. yeah. So that, I thought that was pretty cool. 